excellent punt. This offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A gain of right around 30 on a play that began way back inside the five. You know, I have to be really happy after that play. The offensive line, to be able to create space in that situation when everything's jammed in and everyone knows you're going to run it, that's a big time Yeah, because you're probably just thinking, hey, let's get to the four or five and get some breathing room, right? That's all you're asking for. That's all your punter's asking for. Instead, he's not necessary now. Jackson on first down. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 36. Jackson from the shotgun. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. After 1-7-3 the score on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. As they touchdown, Saints. Tony Pollard, he scored on the ground and through the end. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. So the celebration in the end zone, but meanwhile, we do have an injured player. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Now we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. Play action. It's Jackson. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. And now comes the field goal unit on. And boy, this is asking an awful lot here. Maybe that's an understatement. Patterson's kick is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. 
Play action. Now Jackson looking for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. To the sideline and incomplete. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 10 from the 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Powers passed him at the 5. And able to get him inside the 5 here, just inside the 5 to about the 4. 81 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Touchdown! Tony Pollard. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Out to his left. Crossing route catch made by Johnson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Now this throw caught left side. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw complete here to Ayuk. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They go play action with Jackson. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. He completes it to Ridley. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Jackson now. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Brandon I. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And got his man complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Jackson's throw taken in by Ridley here. Touchdown, New Orleans. Calvin Ridley, 37 yards. And the... Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. And for the Saints touchdown, Josh Reynolds, 70. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out of this one. But the way this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Mac Hollins, 40. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Buying time to his left. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. 
but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Running right through him. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Fights through and now a crease. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. From the 35, here's second and two. Going to run again here with Pollard. Shrugs him off. And he gets this one inside the... And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. Pollard will take it up the gut. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Trying to run for it with Pollard. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. They'll run for it with Pollard, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add it. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. We saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go, his first rushing touchdown. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. 